Okay, this is part two of why divine feminine is giving up on divine masculine or divine false masculines. They say that they're here to protect us. I, when it comes to the spiritual community, not all men are the same. And not all men are equally the same. Meaning, not all men think the same. Some men have an agenda to move the divine women. But, like, they're supposed to be our protectors. Especially the males that we are surround ourselves on our daily, day lives, whether it's our brothers, our nephews, or our fathers, or a spouse, or a partner who's a male. They they have a tendency to kind of like throw you in a loop, to keep you in a loop about your divine power as a divine feminine. We are much more capable just than opening our legs and giving birth. To be honest, I do not feel safe around the men that I'm with. Even in, when I go in society sometimes, I'm, I'm not really fully safe to be a divine feminine, to actually come and use my gift the way that God or, or divine beings tend to leave place upon me. Men will spin you around in circles, make you question yourself. A man is not supposed to do that. A man is not supposed to make a woman feel like they got to be questioned, like they got to be interrogated for being who and what they are. They judge us on our sexuality, how we move, how we make money, how we make more money than them, how we provide more than them. They want the whole fucking goddamn world, the whole orchestra, but don't want to fucking sit there and take care of it and or take care of us like a fucking plant. I, I have I had too many men in my life take advantage of me. And these are these false divine beings too that I'd be speaking on around me. Because I understand that they're on a, a, a trauma loop cycle from their last relationship or like an occurring relationship now I, I completely understand that trauma comes with healing trauma comes with time like my I told my ex like you know what since you causing me all this fucking pain how about I'm gonna make you the front face for all the fucking rapists out there that ever fucking touched me if you not gonna be the one to be a solution, but you wanna be a part of my fucking problem, you wanna tell me that I'm not valuable enough, I'm not good enough, but yet you sit here and chase me and chase me and chase me, running in circles and spiral with myself, making me question if I'm even worth living for or being with somebody. I was with somebody for 10 fucking years and they broke me down. They never really helped build my character. They helped build a character, yes, but like not this particular character because if it really wasn't for him and the life lessons that I had to walk through with this fucking man, and we get shitted on the most by helping them build up Saying we ain't shit, we don't got money, we don't got this and that, the third. That's just a fucking lifestyle. I'm trying to help you elevate. I'm trying to help you ascend. I'm trying to help you get rid of all your dad, all the men karma from your family. But you want to sit here and keep shitting on a divine feminine. You really going to be stuck in a hole somewhere when a divine feminine doesn't want to come save your ass from another witch. When your ass get cursed, when your ass get locked on a spell, you, you, 
y'all just don't know when it comes to the divine spiritual women stop putting them in a headlock of themselves stop being such a narcissistic bitch you men, some of you divine men not all divine men are like that but some of y'all are fucking narcissists y'all want everything that a woman has but don't want to take on the pain that the woman has I, I can say the same thing about a fucking man. I, oh, I want to be a fucking man so bad. Because, you know, I have a masculine energy. So, of course they're going to fucking treat me the way they treat me. But I'm not going to sit here and accept that shit. If you, if you so-called ready for a fucking spiritual woman, trust me, you ain't fucking ready. You have not seen nothing yet. And I'm passionate about this shit. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I know what the fuck go, goes on behind closed doors. All of us are going through the exact same shit. Our spouse, our spouse is using us or like, I'm not married, but like, you know, just an example, our partners, our exes are using us, taking all of our fucking goddamn energy, making us think we're crazy. I'm done with this shit. I'm rising to the feminine side. I'm I'm letting us rise because for so long y'all divided us. Y'all divided and tried to conquer us like we we're some fucking trophy to y'all. Y'all sure don't act like we're fucking trophies. Only time y'all do act like we're fucking trophies as long as we giving you money, giving you sex, whatever the fuck the case may be, giving you everything you fucking desire. But when it comes to us. Oh, when we stand up in front of y'all, we're the bad guy for feeling the way we feel about you. But what about us? What about you not being the bad guy? What about you being the bad guy for telling us that shit? Telling us we're not fucking valuable enough. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of men telling women that we are nothing when we're everything. We're all connected. Or we should be. Humanity is going down the hill by the moment. And I I sat here last night after I got off the fucking live, bro. Like, it's so much shit. You can make fun of me all you want for really trying to be in this shit and feel this shit. And to speak on my truth. I don't give a fuck. Make fun of me all you fucking want. How can somebody sit there and let somebody try to kill themselves? Beat themselves up in front of you? Uh, this goes with family too. These toxic ass fucking families that we are in. These low vibrational motherfuckers. How, how can us divine women or earth angels anything that you want to call yourself how can they fucking do that to us how can they make us suffer for being existent i didn't ask to come on this goddamn fucking planet i really didn't i would tell my mom all the, all the time i did not ask to be on this goddamn earth if you put me on this goddamn earth you can take me out because i don't fucking belong here you men make us feel like we're fucking weak. Taking advantage of us, raping our women. Beating our fucking women, bro. Why do you think half of the men right now are fucking transitioning into a fucking woman? But that's another story for another day. They trying to push that agenda towards these fucking weak ass men. Sorry. No shade, but shade. They want to be a woman so goddamn bad, but they don't. They don't go through what we go through on the fucking daily when it comes to these particular males in our life. Not all males are like that. We do have protectors, but not all can protect us. At the moment of time that we need really protection. Behind closed doors, I'm getting fucking beaten on. I'm 
physically, mentally. Like, it's so fucking stupid how these men think about women and what women can do for them. But they don't do shit. They don't have a pocket to piss in to do shit for women, for divine women. They want to sit here and keep chasing us until we have no choice but to fucking surrender. I'm not about to fucking surrender to no weak ass men. Like, I'm not. I'm fucking done with these bitches. Everybody is about to get a fucking rude awakening when it comes to me. Mess with me one more fucking time. I swear to... I swear on your life and my life, we both gonna deal with this shit in the afterlife. Best believe I got this shit. If I'm going to hell and I'm gonna be one of those demons to torture other, other souls, best believe your soul will be the first one I'll fucking torture. I'm not going to sit here and keep living a life and keep trying to run from these men. Like, no. Give me what the fuck is mine. What I need. Because I've been silenced by y'all for so many years. And I'm only 28. Going through the worst hell of my fucking life. But then it's also a, a blessed time. Because I know that divine beings are working with me at this moment as long as i fucking come up here and say nothing but the truth and i i don't care how i sound i don't care if i look crazy i just don't like it's 2024 why do we judge each other so harshly where the fuck is humanity where is it going? I wanted to destroy this shit like a couple of years ago with my mind, with just my divine power of what I got. I wanted to so badly because don't nothing, nothing is changing. We still got a long way to go to help certain men ascend, help certain people ascend. This is what this whole fucking movement is when it comes to me is to help people ascend and to get over their fucking trauma and bounce back like a bitch bounce back like a badass bitch fuck that be you in every moment you have don't let nobody fucking silence you or take advantage of you or manipulate you or make you think you're Oh, crazy, this and that, the dirt, because they're doing some shady shit behind closed doors. Do they not fucking know that God chills me every fucking goddamn answer? And I sit here and letting people lie to me in my fucking face like I'm fucking stupid. Like, I'm naive. I'm not the same girl I was 11 years, old, 11 years ago just fucking zoning out and forgetting things. And like, no, I actually was observing your behavior. So I know when the next time when this shit happens again, I know how to fucking move. But at some point of the time, enough is enough. Y'all gonna have to stop, man. Or y'all gonna have to meet me one on one outside. I can bro, I don't give a fuck. We can fight. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm fighting for these divine women. I might be small, but I understand I'm fucking deadly. I'm a deadly ass weapon. I'm crazy. I'm passionate when it comes to women. When it comes to the divine women, they gonna need another woman to help them protect them. Don't look at my fucking size. Don't look at my... My knowledge is bigger than my fucking size. The fuck? I got more knowledge than the fuck you got going on. And if you did, you would have everything you fucking desire in this fucking world if you had the fucking knowledge, the fucking key. And and, and then this goes to out to my fucking ass. Like, fuck you, bro. Fuck you. You caused the most pain out of everybody in my goddamn fucking life. I'm so fucking done. And I don't give a fuck. You, you can sit here and threaten me all you fucking want. But I'm not going to sit here and let you put your hands on me ever fucking again. I'm not going to sit here and humiliate myself in front of you ever fucking again. 
I'm not gonna sit here and let you talk to me any kind of way. I'm not gonna sit here and let you talk to you talk let you talk to anybody any kind of way when it comes to your family. No. I protect and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm coming from a painful place so that we can heal together. We can all heal and rise out of this shit so humanity can go back to the way it's supposed to be. The shit that they give us isn't fucking love. I know what real love looks like. If you're going to have to make me have a choice, I'm going to have to make you have a choice. Don't don't sit here and try to build a woman out of your own image. It don't fucking work that way. That That's that whole Jesus concept type shit. Or like, oh, made in God image. You're not fucking God. You're not my goddamn God. So I can, I'm not going to be built in your image. I'm not going to be built by your spirit. Because your spirit is fucking new. I'm sick of these fucking niggas, man. Taking advantage of these divine women. Raping them in the astral world. Raping them behind closed doors. Taking their energy. Siphoning their energy. Harnessing their energy. What the fuck are y'all gaining out of it? Are y'all getting the money that y'all deserve? Are y'all getting the luxury that y'all fucking deserve when it comes to the stealing shit? Stealing information from divine women? Sleep with them? Okay, cool. Break them down. Make them starve to death. Make them not have a life. Make them lifeless as possible. So you can steal their light. I'm sick of you fucking men doing that shit. Do that shit one more fucking time. I swear to God, I'm going to find y'all fucking asses. And I'm going to be like, hey, what's good? You want to fight? Wait, I'm for real. I'm sick of this shit. Let us rise. It's over. It's done with. It was no war in the beginning. It was no war in the middle. It was no war in the end. It was never a war because I didn't even try to come up here during those times when all that shit was happening to a lot of divine women. I wanted to speak out on it, yes, but I was too scared because I was like, shit, some of the shit that they was going through was happening to me too. Trust me, once you start getting into this shit, you will know. You will see. You will see what exactly what the fuck going on. And exactly what, how people move. And exactly how people do. I'm sick of this shit. I'm like, damn. I'm sorry for all the cussing and shit. But, like, at the end of the day, I'm going to be fucking me, bro. Like, I'm done. I'm done hiding. This is the real me. I, I don't have no I don't I don't have no persona, no fucking mask on right now. No, this is the real fucking me because I'm fucking angry. I'm tired. I'm tired of y'all using me as a fucking example. And then I don't get nothing in return. Us women, us divine women, we don't get shit in return other than getting shitted on by you fucking men. Who's supposed to protect us, love us, care for us, give us life while we give life. But now you just want to take, conquer, and divide. The fuck you mean? The fuck I look like? Who, who, you ain't taking from me, nigga. No, the fuck you ain't. Because if you're taking from me, I'm going to let you have all the pain. Including, including the bad fucking memories of me having... Bro, it's every fucking night. I swear. If you want to be us so fucking bad, you want to have to take on the fucking pain. No, you can't handle it. You will never handle it. Just like we will never handle being you. We don't want to be y'all. Shit. Hell no, we don't want to be y'all at all. Shit, y'all suffer enough much as we are. But we ain't suffering no more. Because nigga, we fucking about to rise. The fuck y'all mean? No, the women don't need to come up here and have a platform, blah, blah, blah. Let's keep her gatekeep. She don't deserve this shit. Who are you to tell me I don't deserve this shit? You're not fucking God. You don't know what I've been through. 
what, just because you astral projected around my space and you only see half of the story and only see what you want to see, but don't want to see the full picture? Yeah, some of these men will do that. They will come, like some of the divine men, they will come in your space and astral project just to monitor you to see what the fuck's going on. Like, like they own you or some shit. I had too many people astral project around me and I'm wondering why the next day, how come I'm hearing about this and that the third? I'm like, how do they know that? And then they gonna put me in spirals and put me under these spells. Well, like, it, it ain't about me, but it's about me. You don't have to say my goddamn name. But you will hear my name. And you will hear from me. And I'm, I'm done with these niggas, bro. They got one more fucking time to mess with the divine feminine. And once we rise up and we will rise and we are rising, best believe we're coming for that ass. Time is up. We've been overdue. We deserve much more than what we're getting. And that's facts. Not because we're just women. We're divine women at that. We hold the key. We hold the fucking blueprint. If it wasn't for us, y'all wouldn't even be able to fucking be in the astral world. Y'all wouldn't be able to be dreaming the way y'all dream. Y'all wouldn't be able to travel without a fucking divine woman. Women are capable of traveling in realms. We're capable of traveling in and out of different dimensions. It don't matter what fucking race you are, you are a divine feminine being. You're a badass bitch. And never forget that shit.